Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back through your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we are going to be talking about Ripple and XRP as well as the vast majority of crypto and finance. And I hope every single one of you are having a beautiful day or a beautiful night. Guys, the weekend is here. Let me know how you guys are doing down in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And with that being said, let's tap on in. With promising fintech growth and increasing consumer demand for digital banking, Africa represents a bright opportunity for the finance sector. Discover the estimated $2.7 trillion market opportunity in our new Faster Payments into Africa Quick Guide. And over here, we do see the African market is expected to be a vital driver of global business and financial service providers will play a key role in making this market's 2.7 trillion opportunity a reality. And fintechs have already penetrated the African market to meet the growing demand for digital financial services. Through Ripple's partnership with Onafreak, the largest payment hub in Africa, financial institutions have the opportunity to leverage Ripple's worldwide network to support frictionless international business payments powered by blockchain. Now, I downloaded this report and it's substantial. Listen, as we look at what's going on in the world of payments and finance, everything is changing. Every single aspect of payments, finance is changing. It's all looking ahead at AI, blockchain, DLT, tapping into all avenues of technology and blockchain is at the heart of that. Crypto is a crucial key that unlocks the future of payments. When we scroll down here, we can see the $2.7 trillion market opportunity in Africa, 60 billion fintech market in Africa as well. And it seems as though a McKinsey analysis expects the financial services revenue in Africa to reach $230 billion by 2025. Now, with Onafreak, Onafreak is a key player here because they connect 400 million mobile wallets across 35 African countries while operating upwards of 800 payment corridors across the continent. The entire region stands to reap the financially inclusive benefits as the partnership between Onafreak and Ripple evolves. And remember, this is Ripple Payments. This is XRP being tapped in for real-time settlement 24-7, 365. And here we have the Africa payout coverage. We also see some of the significant areas and how they're paying out in the currency, payout channels, uh, payment types, and even the best delivery time as well. Drive your business forward with Ripple Payments. XRP, at the heart of this, we can see that Ripple has developed a cutting edge liquidity solution that allows instant settlement of cross-border payments this market is notoriously complex, but with Ripple payments, financial institutions worldwide are able to process payments faster at a lower cost. I mean, this is crucial because now you are seeing everything evolve. What was once a very complex market, a very inefficient market with headaches and problems, can now all be alleviated. With Ripple, businesses gain superior technology, real-time settlement of payment funds, access to payout rails around the globe, upfront visibility of fees in addition to end-to-end -to -end payment status. Customer-first approach ensures frictionless onboarding and seamless uh, customer experience. A trusted partner, extensive knowledge of both the crypto and finance industries honed over a decade. Hundreds of customers wor worldwide, including financial institutions and corporate enterprises, Customer protection from crypto price volatility as payments settle in seconds. Use cases, individual payments, bulk funding, internal treasury. These are the three models that Ripple Payments addresses with XRP. Streamline global payments by enabling real-time settlement and 24-7, 365 availability. Moving funds from one internal account to another in real time when you need it. Leveraging competitive exchange rates and transfer fees. Instantly top up your positions with your payout partners around the world, around the clock. And here we have about Ripple as well. And XRP, 
again, being mentioned heavily. Because again, XRP is the secret sauce that allows Ripple payments to truly be as disruptive as it is. Now, why am I bringing this all up? Well, because as we look at how big and significant of a report this actually is, it also puts it into perspective on how big of a game changer Ripple actually is with all of the time that it has behind it, with all of the experience that it has behind it, with how disruptive this actually is. And that's why when I did read why businesses will gain the most with Ripple, it's because it is true. Like this is a, this is a massive player. They have done over a decade, a decade's worth of networking, connecting the dots, making sure that they have all the right players on board. And the reason why I bring this up is because of this. On December 7th, the BIS put out, let's improve cross-border payments. The BIS Committee on Payments and Market Infrastructure will hold a webinar on governance and oversight for fast payment systems interlinking on December 11th. Remember, this is the CPMI, right? The CPMI is crucial because it is Ripple with Swift and all those big players. Now, before I go fully on into this, I just want to let you guys know that my apparel company, Tokenized Threads, officially launched a ton of new apparel designs. You guys are more than welcome to go check this out. Of course, a few that you guys would love is the FDSEC hats, FDSEC beanies, and we also have shirts like this. We have hoodies like this, long sleeve shirts. If you guys do want to go check this out, you guys are more than welcome to over on tokenizedthreads.com. Guys, links down in the description below as well as in the comments below if you guys want to go check it out. You guys are more than welcome to. Now, with the CPMI, you also need to understand all of the major central banks. So here are all of the major institutions tapped in with the CPMI membership as well. Argentina, Australia, Belgium, Brazil, and the list goes on and on and on and on here. Now, the reason why I bring this up is because all of these central banks are all tapped in. They understand, they know what's happening. All right? And what's crazy about this is if we go over here, we could see the CPMI cross border payments program. And the three major things that they are looking at is payment system interoperability and extension, legal and regulatory and supervisory frameworks, cross border data exchange and message standards. Outside of this, we have the press release from October 17th. This is CPMI sets out harmonized ISO 2022 data requirements for enhancing cross-border payments. These are all of the data requirements um, for, again, cross-border payments with the G20 tapped in with this, with the Payments Market Practice Group, which does include all of the major big banks, um, as well as a ton of other players as well. This was a big one. And it's all because when we look at harmonization, everything is happening or happening uh, very fast around harmonization of standardization and regulations. A direct quote here from the Bank of England is, these technical requirements will ensure that we are able to grasp the opportunities for more efficient cross-border payments afforded by richer and more structured international messaging standards. They are an excellent example of the type of practical impact the G20 program can achieve together with the industry to make cross-border payments faster, cheaper, and more transparent and easier to access by 2027. That means that over the course of the next roughly three years, they want cross-border payments to be faster, cheaper, and more transparent and easier to access. So what do you think happens over the next three years? This is why we hold what we hold. And for those that are questioning, well, Ripple and XRP are not even mentioned at all. We know that Ripple is on the CPMI group. And by the way, <clears throat> excuse me, Pay attention to the, to the major players on here. For example, Paynet Malaysia is on the CPMI. All of these other players here, by the way, from my video from midnight, I mentioned Swift moving forward on with interoperability of cross-border payments. Guess what? A lot of the players on here were tapped in on that front. But Ripple is on the CPMI as a task force member. The reason why I bring this back up is because December 8th, let's improve cross-border payments. Again, they were promoting this. In this document, we see the world needs a better cross-border payments network. Which means, guess what? Screw SWIFT. We're not even talking about SWIFT. We're talking about a new network. 
That's coming. And all of these players, including Swift, are tapped in on this front. Global adoption of fast payment systems is rising at a rapid pace. The interlinking of faster payment systems could present one of the most promising solutions for enhancing cross-border payments. Agreeing on working, workable governance and oversight uh, frameworks for interlinking arrangements, however, can be especially challenging. And this is all with the CPMI, by the way. Over here, again, here is a little bit more of an insight on it. Linking fast payment systems across borders considerations for governance and oversight. And this is all regarding cross border. Like everything is talking about cross border payments by 2027 to achieve everything, making sure that they're all linked together cost, speed, access, transparency. And again, the reason why I bring this up is because the CPMI is at the forefront of this. With all of the information that we know about Ripple, with, with uh, Ripple payments, with XRP, we know how significant Ripple has become in the cross border payment scene. They're tapped in with over 500 plus players. They have a network that continues to grow at a rapid pace and they have become a dominant force. And over here, we have the world needs a better cross-border payments network. This is December 6th. Webinar on linking fast payment systems across borders, considerations for governance and, and oversight. Global adoption of fast payment systems is rising at a rapid pace. We do see this. The interlinking of faster payment systems could present one of the most promising solutions. Again, all of this is just re really kind of rehashing what I just read. But at the bottom here is what I'm more interested in, which is the players tied to this. So we have opening remarks, linking fast payment systems across borders, considerations for governance and oversight. But then down here, challenges and experiences in faster payment system interlinking arrangements. Look at the players here. We have... The BIS Innovation Hub, obviously. But then we have Paynet Malaysia, the Bank of Thailand, and also um, Jordan Payments and Clearing Company. Now, this last one, there's not too much there here, but Paynet Malaysia, we have something. Trangla launches real-time payments to Malaysia, November of 2022. Again, this is with RippleNet. According to the country's central payment network, Paynet, its real-time payment platform, Do It Now, has processed over 2 billion transactions in the last three years, presenting a growth of more than 800%. Real-time transactions in Malaysia are expected to reach $7 billion in volume by 2025. It added, or sorry, $7 billion um, just in volume. Now, with Tranglo, we do see our regional payout capabilities just got a real shot in the arm. Ubiquity of Do It Now means infrastructure support for real-time transactions, not just within Malaysia, but across Asian. That is a huge market that our global business partners can tap into via Tranglo. Again, this is all with Ripple at the heart of it. Because when we're talking about Tranglo, we know Ripple owns 40%, but we also know that Tranglo and Ripple have been tapped in heavily. Outside of this, we also have over here from one month ago, Week 45, Union Pay International partners with Paynet, Payments um, Network, Malaysia. We see a little bit of a breakdown there. XRP gets Dubai's green light. Then we have at the bottom there, Hong Kong and Thailand agree on cross-border payment linkage. Remember what we talked about with this. Hong Kong Monetary Authority is tapped in on an EHKD pilot with Ripple and XRP, which by the way, Ripple is uh, being tagged down here with on-demand liquidity. And the Bank of Thailand are working together to link their digital payment systems, faster payment system, and prompt pay starting December 4th. This is very interesting. And again, as we look into all of the connections here, we know going back to the HKMA projects that they were trying to interconnect and link to other systems as well with Ripple. And they were also tapped in with tokenization. And when we look at the CPMI group, first off here, we have the bank, uh, the Paynet uh, Malaysia, Bank of Thailand, but over back here into um, all of the players. So for an example, you have Ripple here, but you also have Paynet Malaysia. Um, I'm not seeing any other thing like, uh, for an example, Thailand. But if we go back to uh, the original view over here, you could also see over here that Hong Kong Monetary Authority 
is also tapped in. Now, we don't see the Bank of Thailand or anything like that, but we do know that SCB is running on Ripple, and this is the largest bank in Thailand in terms of market capital, and they offer real-time 24-7 services uh, clearing directly to bank accounts. Again, they were partnering with Ripple for providing real-time uh, remittances. So again, as we look at this, we know that Ripple has made a name in a lot of these big areas, and we also know that Ripple being on the CPMI group with all of these big players could very well mean that, again, all of these players could be tapping into the Ripple network. Now, does this all confirm that when we talk about this new cross-border payments network, it's Ripple? No, but I do believe that Ripple is at the heart of this and could very well be a significant piece of the puzzle considering the fact that they are still quoting the CPMI group and Ripple joined this directly after we seen the lawsuit um, get completely thrown out around XRP. So as we look at this, the timing is definitely interesting. The connections are definitely interesting. And we know how significant Ripple has become um, in terms of the cross-border payments sector. So this is definitely interesting that everything is regarding cross-border payments, obviously, because this is a big mark that has, you know, major pain points. And Ripple has been focused on this for well over a decade. So it wouldn't surprise me if they were tapping into the Ripple network. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, though. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you guys did enjoy the video, definitely leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on. Also, if you guys don't want free content, you guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord in the description below. And with that being said, guys, it's been Nick. Peace out.